All right, so we're going to make this video kind of quick, man. Uh, it ain't really a whole, whole bunch that we got to say other than, can you see me now? So <clears throat> we did go ahead and we ordered the correct bracket for the 2014 and up. Uh, passing lights. Installation was pretty straightforward. Plug and play. Uh... No splicing or nothing. I have seen other people's videos that they had to do splicing and stuff, but we didn't have to do that. I don't know, maybe they upgraded it since then. Uh, but yeah, thing is looking beautiful, immaculate, all that thing, man. Like, I was curious about it at first. I'm like, eh, all them extra lights on the bike, man, look crazy, but man, the chrome. And like I said, man, it's about visibility. I'm saying a road glide can't do this. <laughs> road glide can't do that, baby. Yeah, man, let me go ahead and show y'all what we working with. So as you can see, I put the key up. So that's with the key. He owns just the regular lights. You know what I'm saying? Like, we ain't even got to give him the whole shebang bang. You know what I'm saying? But if we want to give him the juice, you know what I'm saying? And install with a nice little switch right here. Boom. And now we got this thing like Sean Paul. Give me the light. Just give me the line and pass the drill. Yo, so they can definitely see us coming. They gonna definitely hear us coming. Uh, I'm happy with it. <clears throat> if you look, just to kind of, I guess, give you an idea. If you look at the wall there, that's without the passing lights. That's with the passing lights. No passing lights, passing lights. Now, of course, if you have the passing lights on and you hit the high beam, it is gonna cut your it is gonna cut your passing lights off. But honestly, honestly, I don't think that you would need the high beam and that. You know what I'm saying? Like I'll never, with all this light, I'll never have to turn on my goddamn high beams ever. Ever, ever? Ever, ever? Do you hear me? Yes, sir. So make sure y'all uh, like the video, etc. etc. Uh personally, like I said, personally it probably ain't nothing too much more that I'm gonna add to this bike. I know I say this every time, but like I think this was like really, really the last thing, man. Other than the cam situation. But like now, I just like, because visibility is the, the biggest thing, man. And I haven't taken it out on the drive at night yet because I just installed them. But uh, it's coming. And I will let y'all know first reactions. But we did get it installed. Uh, I did use the lights that came in the other passing lights that I was unable to use. So those are there in the box. So those are probably going to get sold or something. Given away to somebody. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, big light, big light. They call me Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. You heard? You know what I'm saying, but yeah. Like I say, I'm happy about it, man. It's just the the ability to see more at nighttime, man. And I mean, it, it might just be that your boy getting older. You know what I'm saying? And needs some more light, but yeah. Here we go. Passing lights, 2017 Street Glide. You know. You know. So I'm gonna try to get another bath. Y'all hit, hit the lights for one more time, my bad. Give it to him in this. 
and the full capacity and the full capacity that is light. Light. Break train coming. Break train coming. Break kick coming. Break kick coming. Break kick coming. I know. <laughs> All right, man. I'm done, man. But y'all, yeah, whole lot of light going on over here. They can definitely don't see it coming down the highway. Man, this, I feel like this is exactly what I need for that extra boost of confidence, especially riding at nighttime. If you're going to be riding out, out, you know, but sometimes, you know what I'm saying, when, shit, when it get dark, and sometimes people just can't see it, got to shut it down. But with that extra light, oh, yeah. Freight train coming. Freight train coming. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> yeah, man. 